Leos, welcome. Doing your heart spread. This is for December, the big one. Reading for the whole month. Kind of keeping that in mind as we go into this. Um, thanks for joining me here in the urban jungles of Cancun, Mexico. Uh, emphasize urban because you might hear some construction going on. Um, they're building a um, new place about two houses over. It's like a canyon here. It's a concrete canyon, but it's jungly and there's wildlife down there, foxes, there's bats going by all the time, parrots come a lot of the trees, um, so it's just very pleasant usually, <laughs> yeah, but just like uh, you hear the parrots really loud, kind of hear the hammers loud too, you know what I could do the pop outs right now, I'm just going to put a little energy on these um, guys, if you don't mind. It, it honestly, I, I hope it's not as bad as it sounds to me, the noise, but uh, it you know, gets to me a little bit. I need to uh, be able to listen to my own mind. Okay, in order to read, and so um, this is you, Leos. Thanks for hanging in there. I like it. Knight of Cups. This is your energy in and around relationships. Where your mind is at and where your heart is at. This is for the December time frame. Mostly comes to mind cancer energy in your own chart. Uh, often Leo. You could have any of the personal planets there. Mercury, Venus, or Mars. Um, but whether or not, um, this is you. Uh, I try to make this a, a little bit of a, a, a way from what you are with your person. And just see where you're kind of you're at as a person um, and so this is someone that you're being very emotional you're being very open you feel strong and you know it certainly seems like you're looking for love you're moving into the reading now sometimes I've noticed doing these readings so much is when someone and this reads this reads you if you are really head over heels in love already with this person um, this what I'm trying to read is you and there, there's in other words like tarot can't separate you from your love for this person so then this is shows you as someone you know coming in with your couple love um, for uh, this person here let's see where they're at nine of swords well to this nine of swords person we could be dealing with an air sign here Jim and I believe Aquarius personality man or woman um, oh, the breeze is so nice. It's just a little cool even, you know, it's crazy here. Oh, you know? uh, Earl Grey tea, momento. But beautiful weather. But yeah, so it, you'd be like the knight on, the knight in shining armor, you know, but emotional knight in shining armor. So uh, coming in and uh, sweeping them off their feet. And this is, would be them being, you know, hurt, broken up, about a past relationship ongoing one and here you are emotionally coming in for them um, and very much coming in for them so you're kind of going to them I see too overall energy is ten of pentacles so I think like Leo you feel like you have a lot to give I kind of feel like this refers to you um, you know you're doing okay and even emotionally here you, you don't mind in other words it's nothing for you to give to this person it's kind of unconditionally giving to them um, um, and uh, cups is emotion so being there for them emotionally already a little thing I'm thinking to, uh, keep in mind that you might probably get this because you're coming in as a knight of cups in other words you're trained as a knight to go and to take love <laughs> out there um, but you know you don't want them to keep avoiding their own emotions which is what this nine of uh, swords can be uh, which is going to be about feelings about past relationship um, they're probably not good feeling. I'm not saying they want to get back together. Rather the opposite here, um, but not being willing to or able or desiring to drop into their emotions, kind of deal with it. And you don't want to kind of do that for them because you could be an empath too, Leo, coming in with the rushing in with your Knight of Cups like this. Wow, and this is purely a Leo card now. I mean, in a beautiful card here. This is a classic Gilded Tarot deck. And um, 
male or female, you're showing up as a queen of wands. Um, and this is the thing about this, this is how you're reacting to them. So if they're making you feel like the queen of wands, I'm, I'm all for it. Um, I, I want to feel like the queen of wands. You know, I want someone to make me feel like that. Um, because it's also passionate. I mean, they're really turning you on here. And let's see what's going on, because I mean, it. You're coming. It's great coming in with Knight of Cups. That's perfect. That's what. That's like bringing it. But coming into love with the headset and a mind and a heart and the Nine of Swords for them. Wow. Um. Had it could even be kind of a shock. But they're all in, guys. If there was any doubt, Leo. Yeah. You just like I get the feeling like you just turn their head around. You just turn their head around emotionally too look at those are cups you're the knight of cups they're feeling your knight of cups they're feeling it you know um so remember i told you um that there could be a concern that you don't want to like absorb their emotions for them and give them an excuse energetically to not feel their own emotions that's not a problem they're most definitely feeling your emotions and uh, what they're feeling is love for you so now, you know, Lee's another thing, you know, uh, of course, he could run away from these bad feelings. Um, but I just, you know, I don't blame him. I see nothing but good here. Knight of Cups coming in. If you're feeling like the Queen of Wands, then that's probably lighting them up, too. You know, that they're going to meet that energy. Um, but they're meeting it with, uh, not with fire, but with cups. So it's uh, really, uh, they're very sincerely, they're probably just, I could just say they're in love with you, Leo. This person's in love with you. I think it's fast. This is all fast. Wow, this is advice from spirit. Very interesting here because this position reads advice from spirit for you, Leo, in terms of how to deal with this other person. And what is the four of wands? The wands are actions. Okay, you're the queen of wands. What's coming underneath the queen of wands? She wants a king. Male or female, flip them around as you will. But the wands are the building of a long-term committed relationship or a marriage you know um, so you're coming in quite serious too at least that's your advice I mean this advice as here are the four wands it's as if you're say let's say you had a good relationship with mom or dad okay <laughs> just for sake of argument and they say to you oh my god marry this one honey <laughs> this one's keep her marry you now what's their advice towards you page of swords I don't think they've really told you how they feel. So let me know about this one, would you? If there's any if you're resonating, just leave me notes say, no, they didn't tell me how they feel, or yeah, they did. Or there could have been a way they did it that was shallow or immature or not committed. Um, and also comes to mind, if you take the Nine of Swords and the Page of Swords, you finally got Ten of Swords. And so this is advice from Spirit too. In a way, if you're if you're cross watching or, or uh, if you want to share, Lee, I'd love for people to share this if they re or relate. Um, you know, it's really advising you to get to this Ten of Swords and let go of whatever it is from this past relationship because Nine of Swords is rough. You know, uh, and you really want to let go of that because like, so far it does look like you have something here, like quite a if nothing else, a hell of romance. You know, it beats all hell out of Nine of Swords energy, guys. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Excuse me now. Let's see. We'll keep it in mind. We have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I don't really feel like that's uh, you too, Leo. Let me know. We pretty much got together. Okay. <clears throat> what did I say a few minutes ago? I believe I said, oh, she's looking for a king. And what is that? That's, I believe, the King of Wands. That's her king. And this is advice from Spirit. Your advice from Spirit is lock it up, man. <laughs> put a ring on it that's your advice hello leo and now the advice for the relationship as a whole is the king of wands uh your person here um i'm thinking of them as being cold locked up uh maybe isolated nine of swords is isolated to me a lot isolated and so you come along and you thaw them out look at this fire fire you know you're just thawing them out and it's and it's like the universe with the four of wands and with the king of wands the universe is going like this like pour it on pour it on and and your person here um there's a certain immature energy about this 
page of swords i do i want to clarify that the moon yeah that you see look they they have a really hard time with emotions your person okay whatever sign they, they, they might be it could be an air sign you know, have a lot of water or something you know i don't have any air and i can i'm surprised i can even talk sometimes but you know for them i mean because this is all advice from spirit it's understand that you got to, I'm going to call it drop into the emotions, cross watcher, your person. You know, and I get the feeling this is coming with the, the king of wands is looking over at you. It's looking that way. It's your uh, four of, uh, advice of the four of wands. And I think what you're going to find is this person's going to be very, very attracted to you. I think you're very attracted to them, like very attracted to them. Um, and it could be a little bit something about their vulnerability that attracts you, okay? Whatever. There's always something. And relationships are all about learning. Um, but with the king looking over at this four of wands, um, I just see this as being their energy, the king. Now, male, female, it doesn't matter. But, I mean, if I some spirit, and you've got the queen and the king of wands, so... This is a fiery, strong connection, passionate connection, guys. Um, oh my God, am I talking about a fiery, passionate connection? The outcome of your heart spread, dear God, Leo, is the Ace of Wands. Whew. It would be weird that this, remember this is advice from spirit. And, and as advice, it could just be like a prophetic voice saying, "This you're going to marry this one. Uh, you're going to marry this one, Leo. You're going to marry this one. Because I'm wondering if you guys have even had sex yet. Because this is a phallus and this is sex. And it looks like um, you guys are, uh, if you haven't, you're going to. Um, this is uh, just a fiery connection. I mean, Jesus, look at this. The King of Wands is the advice from Spirit. Ace of Wands is the outcome. And I got to tell you, the advice here is to pour gasoline on this fire. You always hear, don't pour gasoline on the fire. But sometimes, maybe it is the right thing to do. Now remember, don't do it at home. This is only for professionals, okay? It can be very dangerous pouring gasoline on a fire at any time in any place, okay? You're going to do things like that. You use a, a non-flammable, less flammable um, liquid. So, no, seriously, don't. <laughs> but I'm just thinking, like, you guys, like, uh, yeah, you, you would be the couple, end up being the couple that you can't keep your hands off each other in the restaurants. You make the other couples uncomfortable when you're around them because you're just so fat, like you're at the table with everybody else, but you're like, feeding each other food and making out and I love this you know it's kind of not me but I'd go along with it uh, but uh, you know in in your composite look for uh, Leo AC our fifth house son maybe you know something like that um, so thank you guys let me know uh, if this resonates it helps in some way I hope uh, this heart spread for December and um, do give me a like, thumbs up, and subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. Thank you.